Hello Guy Card Video Hop Watchers. Uh, my name is Gareth and welcome to G's Creations. First of all, thank you to all my new subscribers. I Welcome to my YouTube channel. I try and get new videos up on a Tuesday and Thursday of every week. Um, you can find me on multiple different platforms. There's a link for all my platforms and, and groups and so forth in the description bar below. They all start with G apostrophe S. That's kind of my, my logo. So you'll see G's everywhere. And uh, thank you to all the fantastic YouTubers who have taken part in this collab. Um, as you know, there were 26 different channels taking part and 27 very talented crafters, because obviously Georgian can count, count as two. It kicked off um, at the end of um, May with May May. So aptly stated it started in May with May May. And uh, we end it today with myself. Now I will give you my letter and my letter is Z, and I will give you my letter at the end of the video. Um, the competition will be run via the blog in my store, which is gsembellishmentemporium.com. Um, I probably will be using some of the multi kind of embellishments, you know, the, the, the guy themed embellishments that I can, that I stock in my store on this card. So there's just a few, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to be using yet. Um, so there'll be a link to that in the corner here. Uh, I'm just blown away by how successful this collab has been. Um, everybody's been very supportive. I'm so glad that many of you have gone over to all the different channels and subscribed. It's just a lovely way of saying thank you because everybody has worked so hard to put this collaboration together. Uh, we started back in, I think it was about April, I think it was. Um, getting the collab together and organizing it and then May May came up with the uh, competition idea um, and there's three prizes in this competition and everybody has been so generous um, they, they've all been um, donated by multiple people that are in the collab there's a full list of the prize bundles and who donated the prizes um, on the blog post as well as this video so you'll just see it below you Today I'm going to be doing a card, obviously. I'm going to be using some items from my store, and that's the Buff Mr. Call Buffle stamp set. I'm going to be using him. Some um, charms and uh, embellishments from my store. Not too sure which ones yet. I'll be using um, this stripy paper here from this 12x12 12 12 Back to Basics number four. And this is by Dovecraft. And I'm also going to be using this A4 um, Sunrise Sunset by Prima and this is an A4 paper pad so I'm going to be using that as well. I have already cut my card base and I've already embossed my top insert. Now I use this anchor um, and it's a Dove, no it's not a Dovecraft, it's a Dar Ice. This is a Dar Ice embossing folder. So I've already embossed my top layer. So my, my card is half of a 300 GSM card stock in white. So I just need to use my Martha Stewart board and score it at the six inch point. And that gives me a six inch, a six by six card. Now my first inset will be this one, which is from that A4, um, paper pad and I've gone about a quarter of an inch in and then this one will also be a quarter of an inch and today I'm, I'm going to have a card so it opens this way so the first thing I need to do with this is I'm going to ink it so it resembles um, the sea and the kind of sand I'm going to be using broken china I'm just going to get my little pile of scrap paper I like to use some scraps to do the inking on. Now this will be representative of the uh, of the sky because, as you can tell by the anchors, this card will be um, nautical themed. I'm a big nautical fan. Many of you that follow me on on Facebook and on YouTube already know that I'm a big nautical fan. So that I'm just going to. I love how the ink always catches the raised section from the die, not the die, the embossing. And then I'm going to use 
the warm, the wild honey, and I'm going to use one of the uh, the blenders that are stocked in my store, and this will be representative of the uh, the sand. I wanted to record this video pretty much towards the you know the last day I mean I'm recording this video on Saturday because I wanted just to watch every single person's video and uh, I'm just blown away by the talent that's out there so many gorgeous cards I've come away with so many ideas of cards that I want to do and that is exactly the uh, the point of this collab I want to thank everyone for taking part because it all takes time so thank you everyone for your time it's very much appreciated so I'm just going to just going to ink around the edges as well just to give this top layer some uniformity okay that's that done now I've already stamped my um, my main image and that's Mr. Cool. Now I just used some Memento ink and I'm going to colour him. I'm going to use some brown Special Noirs, that's TN5, TN4 and TN3. So I'm going to start with the, the darkest one. Now I am no um, professional Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir even, um, colourer. I just enjoy using them and I uh, I do my best <laughs> so I'm going to quickly color this and then I'm going to go on to TN5 oops not the big not the uh, the big end the smaller end I'm just going to put the color in just in different areas just to bring in the different shadings and then the main color I use will obviously be the lighter one and I'll go over everything with that. The smaller end, Gareth, the smaller end. One thing I like about this particular um, stamp set, you can paper piece his um, waistcoat. I think I'll probably just um, color him, color the waistcoat today. But on other cards that I've done, I've paper pieced his waistcoat, so you can, you can give him, you know, a nice shiny, waistcoat which will be slightly higher than him himself because you could put some um, foam tape on the back so what I'm, do I'm going to do is I'm going to finish coloring him off I'm going to cut him out using my Westcott fussy scissors which are also available from G's embellishment emporium and then I will be right back with you now using some of the scrap paper from the paper pack I've got this piece of card here, which is the perfect size, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my little Mr. Cool laying down on a beach towel. Now on his waistcoat, I just use the IB2 and the TB4, Spectrum Noir pencils. So I'm gonna have him laying on a towel. Um, so this particular card, piece of card stock measures six and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters. I have all the measurements on the blog post. Um, so what I'm going to do with this particular piece of card is I'm going to ink around the edges with the blue The same blue as we used Before but I'm only going to do the outside edges because I want to frill this so I want to give this like a tassel edging So using my shredding scissors I'm going to go up to There's a purpley red line here and I'm just going to go just past that onto the blue beyond, beyond it. And I'm going to give this towel, this beach towel, a tassel edge. Just to give the front of the card some interest and some different textures. And I'm going the same sort of distance at the top as well. And the next thing we need to do is we need to give it a pillow. So as you can see, I've got all these loose bits, but I want something that goes in the opposite direction so it sticks out. So I'm just going to eyeball the uh, appropriate size. And I'm going to use my... OK, 
I'm using the um, quarter inch uh, circle edge punch and this is the corner chomper and I'm using the quarter inch so it gives it that kind of feel and again I'm just going to ink the edges I'm just using there's nothing on the on the I was gonna say just use the ink you've got on your uh, pad but there's nothing on my pad so I need to give it a bit of a and I'm just going to use some square adhesive foam dots these are also available in the store I'm just gonna put three on the back and I'm going to pop this on the top there so it gives it, because they are going in the opposite direction, it, it definitely gives it the, the idea that it's a pillow. And I'm going to have Mr. Buffle resting on on the uh, the beach. All right, so I'm just going to put some more foam dots on the back. Summer's coming. You know, there's plenty of uh, occasions that you need a masculine or a guy card in the uh, summer months so I wanted to do something kind of summery so just put some art glitter glue on his head because obviously that will hit, his head will rest on the pillow where the rest of him will rest on the uh, um, what do you call it the uh, towel so it needs something to raise it up a bit there we go so I'm going to attach him there like that so in essence it looks like he's on a beach so you've got the yellowy golden sand then you've got the, the blueness of the sea now i've got um like i said i've got a multitude of different embellishments that are sold in my store which i'm going to use to adorn the front of this now i'm going to be using the um the seaside or the nautical themed items yeah. Just going to bring up a, an array of things but you've got so many things you've got mini hammers cowboy hats if you're if your dad or your brother or someone's in the army then there's little soldiers little tools um, bronze and silver ties golf clubs hockey pucks nautical i might i might use that actually nautical things there's lots of different things there cowboy boots there's lots of different things that are available in the store so would if you get a chance please head over um, talking of the store, one thing that I am going to do for you, the viewers, I have, um, I'm going to give you a um, discount code, which will be uh, start today, um, Sunday, and if you use discount code um, Guy Card Collab, you will get 15% off your order at checkout. So I just thought it was uh, you're going to be there reading the blog post anyway. So if you feel like you want to do a bit of shopping or have a look around then I wanted to give you a discount. So please use discount code um, guy card collab and that's all capital letters. And it won't be publicized on the website. So it's only to viewers who watch this, um, this tutorial and this collab. I've had so many people message me and thank me for this collab. So I just wanted to give you that extra bonus of a little bit of discount. Who doesn't like a bit of discount? I know I do. Right, so I put those in place and now I'm going to glue my little Mr. Cool using the art glitter glue into place because I put those into the areas I want them to be in and glue him down. Right, going back to the card base, I'm going to use my adhesive roller I'm going to put the first layer on I think I'll have it that way using the art glitter glue for this next layer because obviously this is embossed paper and it's quite thick, it's 300 GC, GSM. So pop you on the front there like that. Now using some twine, what color? 
going to use some of this uh, Baker's Twine and I'm going to use this kind of green and white stripe. I'm going to cut off a length. Come on, come on. And I'm going to leave a good amount at the top here. And then I'm going to put it on the uh, spine of the card and then tie it to the top. Right, tie it. Come on, up here you, up here, thank you. And I'm going to put a knot in the top here. But I'm also going to add the, uh, sh the silver ship's wheel. I love ha adding these type of embellishments to cards. I think it just, it's just, it just adds that little something. And I'm not saying that because I sell them, I say that because I've, I've been doing it for a while now and I just think it adds something special to a card. Right, so let's put a little bow. Let's sort the bow out. I don't want a huge bow. Okay. And I'm going to trim the tails. Let me use my actual ribbon scissors rather than my fussy cutting scissors. And there you have it. And then you can put any sentiment related to the guy in your life, whether it be Happy Father's Day, Happy Birthday, um, congratulations, have a safe trip. That's the beauty about this particular card. You could use it for any occasion. Now, before I go, obviously you need to know what my tool is. And my tool is And uh, I'd also like to say thank you to all of you again. Um, the competition will be live as soon as this video is live. There'll be a link in the top corner for the store and the blog. So please head over to there and join in. The, uh, the competition closes at 12 a.m. on Tuesday the 7th of um, June so you have two full days to get your entries in I don't think it was fair to have it any any you no know, shorter period than next obviously there's people are busy and so forth but thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again very 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 soon take care now bye bye